welcome back friends and uh, welcome to this new video specially made for the students of St. Joseph's College as a part of online practicals. COVID pandemic has compelled us to conduct even practicals online. Nevertheless, we are successful in both conducting the practicals and I congratulate my students for learning in this new mode of teaching. This video is on the practicals BO3P1 which includes pteridophytes, gymnosperms and paleobotany. The syllabus is slightly truncated, slightly modified and we have reduced the number of topics to be taught in the practicals because of a shortage of time and we study some forms under pteridophyta, we study some forms under gymnosperms, we also study two fossils in the spectacles. Welcome to the second part of this video of BO3P1. In this section, we will learn gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are the plants known as plants with naked seeds because these ovules directly transform into seeds. There is no ovary in them. That's why they're called plants with naked seeds. And we also, in this section, learn two uh, fossil forms. One is Glossopteris, the other one is called Calamitis. We'll start with the gymnosperms now. The first one is Pinus. Pinus is called pine plant and it is usually for growing in the temperate conditions in the alpine regions. The plant is a, a tree which is like a cone. It's an evergreen uh, cone shaped tree which has got uh, long shoots and dwarf shoots. And what you are seeing here are the dwarf shoots or also called spurs. I'll just take out one spur and this is a spur. Folia spur we call it and the spur will have the needles. These are the needles which are acicular leaves. Folia is leaves which are needle shaped leaves. So this is a spur and the spur is made up of uh, three, uh, typically three needle like uh, leaves, foliage leaves. At the bottom we have the scale leaves. So there are thousands of these uh, spurs or foliage uh, leaves that are attached onto the main stem and uh, there are two types of stems or uh, two types of branches, branches of unlimited growth and branches of limited growth. So this is the pinus plant, very important gymnosperm. This is the male cone of pinus. Normally male cones are produced at the tip of the branches of unlimited rows in clusters. Hundreds and uh, hundreds of uh, uh, male cones will be there in the cluster and each male cone is made up of a central axis surrounded by microsporophylls and each microsporophyll will have microsporangia and each microsporangium will have thousands of microspores of pollen grains and the pollen grains are winged pollen grains because they'll have two wings and these wings are meant for dispersal of pollen grains so this is the male cone of pinus These are the female cones of pinus which are produced in the form of oal, in the form of a ring around the stem and the, uh, the female cones require at least uh, more than two years for completion of their life cycle and they show different uh, stages of development and what you are seeing are the fully developed female cones where the seeds have already been released. I can show you here, these are the uh, actually the polyferous scale on which the ovules are produced and which the seeds are produced and these are the structures from which the seeds have already been released to the final stage of the female cone.
we'll take up the next uh, gymnosperm that is Neetum and uh, we don't have much material uh, this is the female cone and the female cone will have the ovules and the ovules will get transformed into seeds so these are the seeds of Neetum and which are arising from the female inflorescence This is a piece of wood belonging to Neetam Ula. See, Neetam, there are two different types of habits. Neetam may be a tree. For example, Neetam Neemon is a tree. Neetam Ula is a woody climber or a liana. Alright, so this is a piece of the woody climber or liana which actually climbs around large or huge trees in the forest. Alright, and this shows what is known as eccentric growth or eccentric vascular bundles. You can see the vascular bundles are more pronounced, are more formed more uh, on one side and there are no vascular bundles on the other side. This is called eccentric uh, arrangement of vascular bundles which is seen in case of Neetam Ula. So this is what is a woody liana or another gymnosperm called Neetam. This is a rock and this is a rock where you have a fossil in the form of an impression of a leaf of Glossopteris. It's a Glossopteris fossil and what you are seeing is only the impression of the leaf. This is the slide of a fossil called Calamitis. This is the transverse section of the stem you can see the arrangement of vascular bundles in this. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please pause whenever you want. Please rewind and watch it again and learn the practicals and come for the practical examination. I thank Dr. Paramesh, Dr. Praveen Kumar and Dr. Niveshika who are also part of this practical. Thank you very much and all the best. Please take care of yourself. COVID-19 is still around. You have to be very, very careful. All the best to you. Please like, share and subscribe. We'll meet again in the next video with some other topic. Thank you very much.